folks, I'm H with Dr. Pink and today I'm going to talk about easy, smooth jazz guitar phrasing tricks uh, and this is about how to sound smooth, cool, jazzy and sexy the easy way and I'm going to show the main tricks how this works but before I get started make sure you have subscribed to my channel a lot of people are watching me but they don't subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get more cool updates and this is how the whole thing sounds it's really cool <laughs> stuff like that it sounds hard you need a certain speed of course I'm going to talk about this but then it's we can break it down to four phrasing tricks and those I'm going to talk about first how to get speed and then how to work with those phrasing tricks and it's really easy cool and sexy <laughs> okay folks let's first talk about the speed uh, you can turn it the way you want you need a certain speed if you want to play this genre uh, because that's the way it works and um, let's take the pentatonics first take a uh, pattern or scale you already know pretty well and now in this case I'm taking the pentatonics because all of you know pentatonics is the first position this track is in B minor B flat minor so it's in the sixth fret and now first you need a certain speed and let's say the maximum speed an amateur player can reach smoothly is 120 bpm this track is I think 90 bpm so it's not too fast so you need the speed how to build up speed first you play the pentatonics as an example you can also play it minor scale but we keep it now just on the pentatonics as an example but you practice any scale you know so have this one here and now you have to play smoothly in 16 notes That's, that means you need some reserves that it sounds smooth so if you have your metronome like say so this is the tempo Taka 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 is four is in sixteen notes four per beat. Taka 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 taka. I just played up and down. Uh, you didn't see my foot is going on here in sixteen notes. So sixteen notes, your foot makes the quarter note. You have to be really relaxed and be able to make this little movement. Duga 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 duga. This little movement. That's really important because if you just play like duga 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 like a machine it doesn't sound smooth it doesn't sound like phrasing so <laughs> see it goes up and down J even i just played the scale up and down so taka 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 down okay and uh faster you can do it the more reserves you have like if the maximum speed you can do is 110 you're then you're probably in the red zone <laughs> and if but you have to play like in the green and orange zone so then probably 100 bpm is the tempo you can really do it smooth and relaxed and sexy i mean sexy if you want to get phone numbers and stuff like that okay so you can also do it in this example in the B flat minor scale this one here or uh, if I want to play fast I often use three note per string things like why three note per string because it's symmetric what does symmetric mean 
you have always three notes, so danzug, upzug, danzug, upzug, danzug, upzug, and they always... <laughs> when you play 60 notes, pay attention that the first... Taka, 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 the first one has an accent. Taka, 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 taka. I've exaggerated a little bit now. Taka, 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 taka. So it would be like Oros and the Pentatonics. Taka, 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 taka. So you have an accent on the first note. So then if you're ready, we can try it with the track, or any this track or any other track. these two scales uh, I know it's for some of you maybe it's too fast then just keep it slow take your time build up the speed don't try too hard because you can get injuries when you do a uh, speed exercises too intense and you want to push through with your head take your time with this do you have the speed it has to be relaxed if it's not relaxed it doesn't sound so this is the phrasing trick number one just have the scales going on and running and stuff like that Good, but of course you don't you don't always play runs. It's just that you have a certain speed. Now, when it comes to phrasing, there are two phrase, three fr other phrasing figures which are really important. These are the main ones. One is you start on the second sixty note of a block. So, so this is taka taka. This is one two three four one two three four. So it's like this. You start on the second one two three. Four. So. So one, two, three, four, one. See, I start on the second one here. I started here. One, two, three, four, one. Or you start. Uh, this would start on the short left of the four. One, two, three, four. Really works cool. One, two, three, or and from then on you can play your sixty note runs, but you start on the second sixty notes. You can start on short left of the four or of the one or wherever, but you don't start on the one because it sounds too straight. <coughs> this way you really have a a nice phrasing figure. You can do this any anywhere. I'm gonna show it. Yeah, see, it really works if you have the ground speed of the whole thing. So. The next phrasing trick or figure is um, this one here. You start first with the slide. So any on uh, any spot. So one and and here the sex sixty note run starts. Taka 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 three four. Or Or, but mostly make it downwards. You start with the slime, mostly with the pinky, and then or let's. works both ways so it's really cool uh, phrasing trick and it works really good um, also like you can also make instead of make you make slightly twice it's the same figure but you don't play you play the same note twice it's but it's the same ring figure
Yeah, let's see. Also works. Yeah, that's pretty cool and works great. Um, the next one is maybe a little bit more complex. It's this one here. So three, four. So or how does this work? This is on any beat, so one. This comes on the four sixty notes. So, so three, four. Three, four. And the third note comes on the end, on the third sixty note of the next beat. So, so. And with this figure you can move around, you can make interesting interval jumps, like... make anything just moving with this rhythm figure and this gives a contrast to the other runs or jump around any intervals in the scale, make big interval jumps with this rhythm figure and then it's pretty cool. If you make a combination of this figure with the other ones which goes like smoothly out, then you're really cool on that one. So this is basically what was really works great. Um, one thing I probably have forgot this one, <laughs> these ones here, the West Montgomery power chords. Here in the 8th 9, 11 in this case, and here 11, 12, 14. <coughs> Wait. You can make the same rhythm figure as before, but with those. So move here from the uh, 8 to the 10th to the 13th. And the uh, same rhythm figure have a great effect. Yeah. Oops. So these are now the the main phrasing tricks I often use. Now that it's like in the kitchen, have you have the ingredients, how to cook something really cool out of this, nice and delicious? It's up to you. The thing is the perfect mixture of the th this the these um, these phrasing uh, these phrasing figures, and then it sounds really cool. And you can o you can only work with the pentatonics. It works. It's pretty cool. Folks, I'm well aware that the stuff looks way easier than it in, <laughs> in effect is. That's why I'm saying you need a certain speed, a certain relaxation in the speed, and then you can really go for this stuff. If you don't have the speed, smooth jazz or jazzy stuff is a little bit hard. But um, I mean, it's a good uh, motivation to work on your technique. It's always good to make exercises on scales and modes. Uh, I'm going to bring some exercises very soon here on the channel, so subscribe if I forgot to tell you. And um, really smooth jazz is a really cool genre. It can be really relaxed and show what it can do. I was uh, 
only talking about phrasing tricks now, not about the material. You can do with pentatonics, you can do with a lot of other scales, of course, or other tricks or harmonic tricks or whatever. But this is going to be a topic of other tutorials. Today's only phrasing tricks. With those which I showed you, you have a really cool vibe and it's precise on the beat and that's what it's all about in this genre. You can wor work it out with pentatonics or blues scale and it sounds cool by just using these tricks. Of course, the more sophisticated you are, the more you can express yourself like guys like Lee Rittenauer or whoever. Or HB Crazy. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. I mean, my goal is to make things easy to understand and it's not such a brain that you can concentrate on feeling the music and don't think music. A big mistake in jazz music, music from my point of view, is that people go into it to in intellectual. I music also has to be an expression of emotions. And so keeping things simple, keeping things uh, an easy way to understand helps you to get into emotional expression as soon as possible. And that's what this tutorial is about. I mean, I was just talking about four things. Uh, but of course, it's not so easy as it looks like. You need a certain education, a certain speed. But um, that's uh, the easiest way to do it. <laughs> Let's do it that way. <laughs> yeah, what more to say, Dr. Pink? Tabs and the backing tracks can be downloaded in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. And follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Spotify, anywhere, HP Crazy or the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. <laughs> Write me a review on Google, that would be great. You find me there, the HP Crazy Guitar Academy as well. Yeah, so me and Dr. Pink are signing off. Mm -hmm.